his mouth open so as far as i'm concerned his tongue is open to the public spot on welcome to episode number two of season two this is the second season and it is, this is the second episode of that season welcome that- to episode two uh it's time for our uh shit talk now but there's not much to talk about because we just did an episode michael went and changed his shirt but i'm still wearing the same clothes so if you look at this episode and last week's episode it's wearing the same thing it's because we filmed it in the, on the same day on the same day michael's trying to trick you he's like oh, i'll go wear a different shirt to make it look like we film on different days like just be real yeah fuck sorry sorry about that there you go a public apology from michael do we have a guest for you today and do we have some guests for you not yet not yet brad wow it's wow, mad, man. so unprofessional. Well, I heard the clap. Yeah, you're right. I, I remember telling you that, and as I was telling you that, I was like, he's going to try and come on early because we just clap. I'm starting to get drunk. No, well, don't do it again. I'll get more You're right. I'm sorry. He's confused now. All right. On this day, on this day in 1931, winter, winter was invented. So oh. in 1931, winter. like 90 years ago, winter wasn't a thing, and then... All of a sudden, 90 years ago, someone's like, oh, let's, like, it's cold. This is called winter. So, on this day, don't, no, don't everyone here that. is part of history. Right, that. that's just, we're just clapping. On this day in 1901, the first ever pelican was hung to death to test the strength of rope. That's how they used to test rope strength. They got a big gulp. Then, on this day, one year later in 1902, a house was built with rope. Because oh, I see the connecting. So strong. Yeah, yeah. That's good research. And then also on That's this day, research. it's exactly another 365 days later, that rope house collapsed. So it's like, it's on this day, like a lot of shit happened. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. So just, just as you're listening to this, just be, just think back to that. Because nine toddlers died. Reflect on the history. Like on this day, nine kids died from a rope house collapsing. So it's just like... You know, be grateful for what you have. Do you know what I mean? Pelicans, winter houses, same shit. Like all it's connected. that's fucking crazy. That's yeah. crazy. That's crazy shit. Let's read some questions. Let's read some questions. First question is from Erin dot Sophia with two A's, and she is asked, "How do you feel about picking your nose and eating it?" Well, I'll leave this to you because you do this a lot. Oh, not in front of Fee. Fee. Michael picks his nose and eats it. Not if, but well, not in front of you though. But you just know that he's doing that as soon as you turn your f- back. Ah, uh, yeah, it's it's addictive. Let's put it that what way. What does it taste like? It's like, I don't know. It's like, do you like the texture? Is it crunchy? Is it soft? Because sometimes they're hardened at the base, and then as you pull the base out, all the connectivity of s- s- mucus, all, all the slop comes out with it and you have like i've had like good like i'd say what's that five centimeters five centimeters of shit come out of my nose and if you have a big night on the cocaine gear we'll call it for safety reasons for the the cops cops, then you can pull out the whole inside of your nostril in like a what like when you mold it like when you want to do a mold it's like a mold yeah a mold it's like a like mold. a uh, it's like paper mache of the inside of your nose paper mache and you bring it out and then the whole thing comes out hardened and it's not only green and shit it's all red and crustified like a scab it's like an actual scab you bring it out you lay it out on the table it's like art and when I was traveling with Henry one of our dearest friends. We were in South America, so we that would happen regularly. And he'd go to bed and I wouldn't. And then I'd do that. And in the morning, I'd leave him on his bedside table and he'd get quite cranky. And You do that with a lot of your waste from your body when you're peeling, your skin's peeling. Yeah, I leave him out for you everyone. like to leave sheets of skin. It's like, ah, I use, yeah, I use you like to a, a disaster. Leave and make, your shits like around the toilet, not in the toilet. Yeah. And you'd like to bring them out for people. So yeah, uh, that's my thoughts. So on what it. does it taste like though? For those who haven't, oh, done it? it's not salty. Yeah, it's I don't know. It's just you. So whatever you. So taste it's like, like eating skin or fingernails. Yeah, yourself. All right, so it's flavorless. It's like so biting you wanna... your nails. It's like that, but a little bit more moist and also a bit more emotional. Mm. 
Next question. Disgusting fucking. Ez underscore baby boy with a double Y on boy. What video do you guys have the most fun making? Um, the B video for me. Yeah, I got high, got high off. off the venom. Yeah. So we went and got stung by bees. And I liked that one because it was... I, like, I miss the old social experiments. That was so much fun. Just going out and fucking with people. Toying with their minds. Remember just that? Just strangers. And just going out and just fucking with them. And that was a lot of fun. And the gel blast of it, even though it looks really painful, was surprisingly like a... Pain is like a high. So if you use it well enough, then you can get off over it. So the gel blast of it was fun. The bee stinging video was fun. The MMA fighting video was the worst. This one's from wholesome. 20 Potatoes. Still works at Wholesome. Which hurts more, getting kicked in the balls or getting whipped by a whip? Uh, probably getting kicked in the balls. I, I, I really don't like Marty it. Marty hates the, the, the ball, testicle actually. trauma. I the testicle to, trauma hurts. It's passed on to me. Whipping, yeah, it becomes like even I had... Actually, fun, fun honey story. badger. The, the honey, honey badger, badger whipped ex, Michael with a whip. He's an ex bachelor from. A couple he's of also a professional ago. rugby union player. He at uh, a New Year's Day party got and the Chinese. old whip out, like the actual ones that break the speed of sound, and he used that on my back, and it didn't hurt at all. It didn't hurt one bit, Matt. Matt, it didn't hurt. I don't know why are you being so like. Anyway, move on. Kevin Corthra has said, are you guys still the best? Now, we spoke about this in our last episode. We're not the best yet again. We're, we're like a, above we're average. Right. We're, oh, like that. Whoa, like it's there. Yeah, I'd hang out with them, like, but oh. they're not like... Yeah, it's, it's like, oh, yeah, it's so, a good podcast. It's, yeah. not, it's not the best. We but, were here. Bruce Willis was here. Now, Bruce Willis is just above us. And we're second. Even though he doesn't up. have a podcast, he's obviously just going to be that high. Die Hard, all those action movies Balls. from the 90s. Great Balls. dude. Great Cam- dude. Cameo and Friends. Friends, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Hamish and Andy. You'd feel um, safe around him. Fuck. All right. Well, let's stop right there because we're going we're we'll to gonna gonna get to our next... We're going to get to our next... Let me tell you about this boy. Let me tell you about this boy, right? He fucking gets out there and just has a blade, gets, gets his shit done. He's on everywhere, on social media. He's fucking get on air, brother. It's my man, Brad. It's my man, Brad. All right. Let's, get, let's hook into it. Hey, guys. I'm Brad. I'm no. Brad. Is that okay? I want to Should we do the question. interview first? Well, well first of all, what 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 like what so for those who don't know you, yeah, right? What do you what do you do? So time. we I so first I, I first discovered you on Snapchat. Everyone's like, Oh, this dude's fucking hilarious on Snapchat. He's like a tradie dude, so you were just at work just fucking around. I was. Yeah, I was uh, so so I'd go to work and uh pretty much uh I was earning money yeah. in my job and and not, Fuck you, don't Is he doing away again? Yeah, he's doing away. Alright, sorry, yeah. I'm trying to. Oh, fuck it. What are the I can smell it. It's a bit. It's. it's a my so I make videos at work, and um, I try to be. I try. So to you just did it for fun. Funny. You were just like yeah, just, you were for, just all fucking for around. Love. Yeah, 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 just dicking around, and, and it's all. It started all on Snapchat. I'd do little snippets and blah blah blah, and then uh, I'd put them together, made the Facebook page, put them videos under the Facebook page, and it. It didn't take on. you long. How long you been? How long uh, were you so Snapchatting for before before you got your job at Trade Tools? Ooh, two years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah so that's very fast. Three years in total. Three about three years ago is when I when I started. Yeah. And here we are, taking a uh, recording a very professional podcast with Marty and Michael. Well, Michael's pissing the in. The beer bottle him. just overflowed. It is it? Um, it's up to the brink. Like I'm not. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, it's. <laughs> yeah, I just went on my arm. Spilled some beer on you. It's a piss, very professional. Piss all over our guest. It, it does. It did. It smells like no, nothing. No, shirt, it's a, yeah. no, no, that's all it's right. Clear, no, we're here clear. now. We're here now. Sorry about that. Like, I'm not one to complain. It's on my thumb now. I really appreciate you not complaining about I having. I got to talk close time. to the microphone. I got told earlier, Brad. <laughs> all right. So. All right. 
So you, you started making Snapchats and then where, when was it when it like started becoming a thing? Like what, what were you doing? Was it one thing that you did that became a big thing or was it just gradually people mm, just been like fucking... There, there was one one main one, the, uh, the traffic home one, Garbage Guts, went really uh, I remember viral. That, yeah. A big uh, share from Lad Bible and and a couple of other big pages. Yeah. And that uh, that uh, mounted like thirty million views or something to you guys. You're like, Phew. no, that's that is that is fucking good. shitloads. That's yeah, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking oh, well, shitloads. I'm, I'm not saying it's not much. It was great, but um, yeah, it's all it's always been an organic growth. I've I've never never I've never boosted a post on Facebook. Yeah, you you shouldn't. For anyone who's starting out, you shouldn't because that will Facebook or any platform will expect that forever, and then so they won't give reach. you reach. So yeah, those sneaky. influencers out there don't fucking boost your post, man. Yeah. <laughs> Is that huh? right? Yeah. Yep. Leave it organic. Anyway, so right. so you you're on Instagram, Snapchat. Are yep. you on YouTube yet? Yeah, no. Nah, I've got a YouTube channel, but I've never really focused on it because it's i feel youtube is a different uh a you different gotta plan. yeah you, yeah, gotta, you gotta be like a full-time fucking making videos you everywhere. gotta address the audience in a different way you gotta make longer videos I, I feel and and really um cater to the youtube platform but yeah, yeah, yeah i haven't got time for all right so shit. instagram yep. facebook madman brad yep and, and snapchat Snap, all madman brad yep. and um so what's the plan? Like, like, so you you got a job out of it though, right? You yes, got- yeah. So I was on the on the tools on the diggers uh, until last year, about a year ago. Trade tools contacted me. Pull shout out. Send them an invoice. Christmas <laughs> bonus. Christmas twelve hundred bucks. Yeah, thanks. All right. So trade tools contacted me and said, uh, "We like what you do. You got to obviously your demographic is what we're chasing. Uh, why don't you come over here?" To us and uh, make videos for us. Mm. I said, oh, "All right." So they just offset here. We'll hire you. You make videos for us. Mm. That's fucking awesome. Well, kind of. They sort of said, "Like, come over here, cut that." Because we got to be like a good tool, right? No, no. Cut well, yeah, no. yeah. So like, that's how it was. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Yeah. Well, we do that again. Yeah. So yeah, that, say that again, Marty. Say what again, Michael? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, it is. It's so good. And I'm so happy where I am. No, it is, it is good. Okay, wait, wait. Let's and do it one more timing, time. The timing went well because I got sacked from the last job. I was selling copper on the side. Oh, oh really? Because yeah, I was working a dump. <laughs> And I thought instead of going to landfill, you know, save the earth, hashtag killer whales and my friends, yeah. 2020 and shit, I'll instead of letting this copper go get buried in the earth and maybe do something bad to the earth, which it probably would. Pop oh, I don't know. Climate change is it does. changing yep. things. It, does, it, kills, it kills people. And I thought, you know what? I'm not letting that happen. I care about the earth I live on. Greenhouse gas. Right? Yeah. So much greenhouse. Photosynthesis. Yeah. Yep. Well, yep. I know. And uh, so instead I put it in a... A bin truck and let him go and sell it. Yeah, no, that's to yeah, recycle. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just oh. because it end up money in my pocket, I didn't even care about the money. Yeah, it's yeah, just, no, it yeah. just happened. It's it's just just he gave the money to me. I was like, I don't want it. That's fucked. And that, he, you he got gave into it trouble to me, for that. He gave it to gave it to me anyway. I didn't. I didn't want the fucking money, but he gave it to me. And I bought. I, I bought that. heaps of fun shit, and it was so good. Yeah. Anyway, here we are. It's great, and it's been is... so good. That, yeah, that's love your trade tools. Well, it's it's good that you got into where you gotten because that sounds like a rough journey, getting done for copper selling. Mm. That's fucked. Mm. But, but now, but now, so what's the plan now? Are you gonna are you gonna work on your own shit or are you just it, it, it's a bit quite time consuming, isn't it? Working for trade tools. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's like it's like a normal full time job. Yeah. So, so you don't really have time to do your other shit. But what's your like? What do you want to do? Like, wh- where are you gonna be in five years? Five years, my daughter will be ten, so I'll be getting my gun license. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, the years are progressing. I remember when I was twelve, thirteen. Mm. It's just, it gets know, out of control, are, right? yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> no, in five years, uh, let's talk. About, I live week to week, right? So let's talk about next year. I like to like to be sort of living. Uh, still, you know, doing stuff at Trade Tools, but at the same time, having more time for myself and my family and, and uh, focusing, being able to spend more time focusing on uh, my content. So yeah. I reckon next year's goal is no more Saturday work, five days a week, Monday, Friday. Hear that? Trade Tools. It's Michael talking to you, Rachel. Love you. So, yeah. No, so- that wasn't a kid. No. Oh, shit. She's so- got a boyfriend. He's tough. 
Is that who the fuck is Rachel? She's my boss. It's boss. Her boss. Rachel. My, yes, yeah. Her boss. Raise maybe. Otherwise, you're gonna lose him because he could make him be making a lot more money making his own shit. Anyway. Wait, could I? Oh, yes. Yeah. We gotta yes. monetize that Facebook page. Dude, we got right? so much copper in this house. Oh, is it? Yeah, oi, all through the walls. It and is we won't everywhere. Tell oi, copper is everywhere. It is really it like is. gold? It's the new gold. All right, let's move on. Pretty much is gold. So, what does your family think of this? So, like, when you started doing your Snapchat stuff, yep. and, and then you started going, taking off a little bit, well, like, what did your wife say? Was she like, was she like, oh yeah, that's cool? Or did she just know that you're, you're, you know, a bit of a fucking funny dude and you do that sort of shit? Or was she like, you know, because it's it's hard, it's like it's fucking weird, you know. Social media is just fucking weird to have thousands of people just watch you, just be you. You know what I mean? I do. How, yeah. What was her reaction? No, it's uh, it, she's always been re- so. There's a big rule at home, right? As as long as I eat at home, okay. Right, you understand? Jeez. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm not going to stray for a meal somewhere else. <laughs> it defeats the point. Yeah. Uh, so four no, and twenty. She's four and twenty. Yeah, oh, I do love it. <laughs> Cheeky fucking saucy one. <laughs> no, yeah. So Crystal's been really good. Uh, it was a bit of a culture shock at the start once it when it first started blowing up. But yeah, because people would recognize her as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's been recognized a few times. But the worst thing is they say, "Oh, you're a." My my brother's misses. Oh, like, yeah. oh, it's yeah. Crystal. Yeah, Good tell the caller by name. And they actually recognise me kids too. Yeah, yeah of course. Wow. Yeah. So what how's that affected their school? No, it hasn't at all. Actually the uh the daycare that the kids went to, most of the oh, a lot of the daycare workers, teachers you call them. Yeah, they yeah, they really. uh follow the page too, so you walk in there and it's like ah, fucking here comes King Dick. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, daycare? That's not what it was like. It was in my head. Be cool, be cool. <laughs> no, it would have been. It would have been exactly like that. I yeah, know yeah, exactly what you mean. It's spot yeah. on. Yeah, I've dev- I've not had too many beers for this, eh? Oh no, well, you didn't start drinking like what six, seven hours ago. Lucky you came at midday because like, yeah. it's four thirty now. Yeah, no, like, four. Yeah, nothing. you know what I mean. Like it would have been even later if you came I, at five. I'm we so have you know what? I'm so I'm grateful we didn't start the podcast on time. Yeah, yeah. so am I. So am I. Have you seen the green screen? Yeah. Oh, yeah, We've that's got a green perfect. screen. That yeah. is and so perfect. We're leaning on it, so it's unusable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so many creases and shit in it. But yeah, it's a green screen. So we went out all out for but season it, two. Hollywood. Wait, it's, we don't even have a green screen at Trade Tools. See what I mean? Like that's Rachel. It's up there. Oh. You know, we need one of these. Look, like I know it, it'll cost a lot. Yeah. But we can maybe write it off in the marketing budget. You just can so. borrow. You can just borrow so. this one. It's tax want. deductible. It's a. It's is a. It? It's a green bed sheet. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah, I can tell. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Learning with me. Yeah, shut up. What was uh, your What was your trade? What 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 are you What you So you were. You, where Where the fuck did you grow up? Uh, so <laughs> a bit of a fucking nomad. So I I, I was born in um. New South Wales, down in Musselbrook, Hunter Valley. Yeah. Uh, lived there for nine years and then moved to Maclay Island, was the first place down in Moreton Bay. Maclay Island? Maclay Island, yeah. Wow. Spent a bit of time there, went to a couple of schools there and high school at... Anyway, yeah. So then we moved to Coran, which is between Gympie and Noosa. Yeah. And then we moved to Gympie. And then I moved to fucking Bald Hills. Why? Why did you move around so much? Uh, I, just, I was like pretty, um, I had no sort of- uh, Anchor, no purpose. Yeah, I didn't. You I were didn't. floating around like I a was fuck. dead set. You were like relief I'll, in the wind. I would go with mates uh, or whatever and just stay at their place for see how long I could get away with it. Yeah. You know, yeah. Stay yeah. there for- a, like me. Yeah, I, I get that. And I loved it. Like yeah, heaps yeah. of people that say, how no do you do it? How do you do it? You, where's your next meal coming from, Brad? You, obviously. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, why you fucking, yeah. that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Yeah, and then, you know, all of a sudden you have to move town because you're robbing Maccas. Yeah, yeah. 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 So What's annoying. mom and dad think of you? Ah, uh, that's a fucking loaded question. Yeah. No, nah, they're, they're happy yeah. now. They're Like, me and dad had a couple of ups and downs, a couple of biffons when I was younger because I was a dickhead, you know. Was, Before that, filming stuff, you mean? Yeah, way, way yeah. before that, yeah. So I started... 
fighting in high school and and dad said well how about we put you into tie box and teach you how to actually fight a bit of um bit of discipline yeah, yeah, yeah. while you're at it and then it sort of it worked for a bit and it got worse and got better and uh, oh shit just went it's wild and, turvy and life, I thought man. you know what it's I've got to go I'm going out on my own and I'd take this world by storm and so I float around being a bum for a few years what, what, so came. you moved to Brizzy without your without Crystal without your wife or did yeah, you yeah. meet her in Brizzy no, nah, so I met her in the 2011 floods. Oh, wow. Uh, we were overseas yeah, yeah. when that happened, yeah. Barcelona. Yeah. So I was at, um, at between Gympie and Tinkham Bay, a town called Glamorganvale. Gumborian. Gumborian, sorry, yep. And we and, got and flooded. And she just floated past. No, nah, we got flooded into a house together. <laughs> we were down here in Brisbane the night before the floods kicked right up. And they and me best mate and her said, "Oh, do you want to come back to Gumboran from Brisbane?" And I thought, "Oh, well, I got work on Monday, but fuck, we'll work on that." All right, let's do it. And then here we are, flood, all the fucking flood water rise. And couldn't rose, get to work. It rose and uh, couldn't get to work. And I thought, I've wanted Crystal for a long time. Like I've had my eyes on her. She's and, a Crystal. Yeah. And now we're stuck in this house, and it ended up being like eight or nine days. Oh really? Oh, oh, so I got wow. to wear her down. <laughs> so it yeah. started off as a like, who are you? Yeah. And it's yeah. Like, oh, what's yeah. your name? And eventually she said, "Right, I'll dump me. I'll dump me boyfriend." <laughs> oh, <laughs> she, oh, oh wow! Yeah, I had to steal her. I was a, it was a swindle. So during that eight day period, she broke up with her boyfriend because you you she just knew that she had to have right mad man it. upper. Mad right, man upper. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and right you said that in the vows. Oh, that's a romantic right at the story. end. Yeah, and uh, you know, I was like, I can't, I cannot. If I stay here for any more days, we're flooded in. I'm gonna end up fucking George. Yeah, I me mean, yep. mate. You know, and yeah. and he's like, he's got a real strong ass. Like he'd nip it off. Yeah, he'll was, snap it off. Yeah, do you no. know George? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're best mates for you know a long time, and and I. We used to grapple when we were training, and he, he's a strong, strong fella. And I thought, fuck, we've been here a long time. Eventually, I'm going to have to fuck, fuck him. him. Yeah. I would have thought definitely within that eight-day period that you would have fucked his That's heart. a long... Oh, yeah. It's Come a, am I wrong? Stuck. It's so a you long actually time. Eight days. You, the fucking week you met Crystal, your yeah. missus. You couldn't yeah. leave. You couldn't leave. No, 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 no. It was, no, like, no, a, no, it no, was no. like sore. No, she couldn't leave. Oh, okay. Because you had her cornered yeah. in a room. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a strong swimmer. I'm a strong swimmer. And she's not. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and there was, was yeah. little, little top, yeah. Yeah, little yeah. Arms, okay. Not much upper body strength. Yeah. But yeah, I can, I can uh, swim hard. So you'd go out to 7-Eleven, bring back snacks. You'd swim there. No, we had no, we had no access to anywhere. Oh, but you, weren't you yeah. swimming? Oh, uh, oh, you could have no. left, but she didn't want you to leave because she yeah, didn't well, want to be alone. She yeah, didn't know what. And George could wouldn't let her Otherwise, me she, would have, she would have said, Give me a lift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what, to your boyfriend? Not a tugboat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a no from me, thanks. No. No, we're staying right here because I got a, ah, my shoulder. Is that, is with that, with the ex boyfriend, was he, like, how long was, was that devastating for him? Like, it seems like she, it wasn't a very healthy relationship that she was just able to flick him off like that. So they've been together for a, a fair while, right? Four, four or five years, I think. Oh wow! And uh, he was like, I was a, uh, I was a fighter back in my day. Like I had a, a couple of fights and trained for a long time, but he was much more accomplished in the ring than I was. And he was about fucking two foot taller than me. I reckon his dick would have been about. Oh, you know, ten centimeters longer, probably. Big. You just wanted a big. There was a solid. dick there. It mm. wasn't just mm. skin. Like yeah. I'm not saying it's, mine's tiny. It's not great. It's, it's normal. Good. You know it's what normal. I mean? Yeah. yeah, it's an average dick. But uh, but here's me thinking, weighing up the options. Like um, he's a big bloke. He can fight. I'll have a go. Yeah, I'll have a go. I'm, you can get swim. me in the water. I'm on bottom. You can heavy. fucking swim. Maybe I can drown him. Swim rings around him. Maybe I can drown him. Yeah. And uh, and well, anyway, I said, well. It's your call, Crystal. And then bang, married three him? kids. And was and he you was he, you was he you? shitty with you, or was it just like, just like whatever? Well, I sort of. I'm a. a Did you bit know more him? Mature. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, <laughs> he was my best mate. <laughs> <laughs> it was George. He's he he one of the boys. But you know, I I, I said to him, "This is 
We were happening? flooded in. We didn't know what to he do. He was mate. in there this too, confused. but you win. This is what's happening. Yeah, you know, the uh, the victor comes out. And I, oh fuck! He'll probably come down to Ipswich and hunt me down. Yeah. That's all right. I think he, got he definitely listens to this podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah well, but that's how I got Crystal. Is it? Yeah, a pretty, pretty, I've met Chris. She's a, a, a yeah, lovely. She's girl. she's, she's a sweet so good. Yeah, she's very patient. She puts up with it. Uh, actually, yeah, maybe I'm the patient I think, one. I put I mean, up it's, with it. It's part and parcel, mate. Can I pop sound check? Oh, oh and bond gone. Just lost your bond. I already put screws through your door yeah, jam. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I tried cool. to fix their door jam, and the, the best I was like, part oh, of it I'm is it's not my house. It's not my house. So True. who True. Can, can you explain? This is from crispy underscore cream sixty nine. Great name. <laughs> That's a good name. Very creative. Can you explain what an esche is? Yeah, go on. In, I believe esche is a, a word derived from Pig Latin. So, oh, you know, it is, I think. Oh, you quote me on it. Search that up. Can we get a confirmation on that? Yeah, esche? yeah it's Pig Latin for sesh. Oh. That's, uh, oh, I believe where it comes sesh, from. Sesh, lad. But obviously, always they have to have a bum bag. If you don't, if you go out posing as an ashe and you don't have your fucking Adidas ass, yeah. knife bum bag with mm. a, I believe they carry at least a butter knife and and some probably a couple of dime bags. Like and like those up. smoke bombs and shit. Crust yeah. up cops Penid- come, they just throw a smoke bomb down Dive and bombs gone. I think it is now. Yeah, because they yep. crust up Penadol in the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Justin Ryan. Yeah, that, here you go, 300 <laughs> bucks. They go, you got a smoke? Yeah. Oh, they sell pickers, no, they're, they're wearing black that. caps and they're wearing fucking black clothes and they're yeah, wearing yeah. runners. Yeah, and they go oh, wait, to nightclubs yeah. and they do the dubstep dance. Uh, no, it's called uh, uh fuck. What's it called? Uh, shit. No, seizure. Seizure. No, it's it's something else where they they kick their legs. Yeah, yeah. It's they like kick trapping. their legs forward, <laughs> and it's called. Uh, and they do loops around their head like this. Gabba, gabba. Thank oh, yeah. you, Casey. Yeah. Gabba. It's called. Yeah, they do the gabba. Dude, Fucking. If you ever got in that, even if you lived your life and got over that, and then you look back at your life and go, I used to do that. That yeah. is a yeah. call for suicide. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, everyone watching. So if you do if that, <clears throat> or no, have done that, have yeah. done it. Yeah, if you, you're you a hang gabba, out with people who do it, just, just. If you're a gabba fiend, you don't uh, want to say what I said again. It's not on. It's not on. <sighs> yeah. So if you're, yeah, if you're a Gabba but fan, the way I look at it is they're like the dudes well, in England that are called chavs. You know chavs, chavs. where they wear chav. the English. I, how do they pronounce it? But chav, a chav, a chav. Harry ha- Lee. Harry Lee. H a double r y double l double e. Fuck. Fucking open a dictionary. Harry Lee. Right. What were your big influences in starting doing, doing these videos? Did it just sort of come, come along? along. <laughs> oh! I, think I reckon that, well um i think that um our influences growing up were um well jack ass a bit tom green originally for me yeah just oh. 1999 tom green show was like uh, oh, oh Daddy, my god like yeah, i was yeah. like dude you know me so well but but make when we first started filming we just wanted to do like pranks which isn't really that jackassy but we just sort of fell into hurting ourselves and then it worked so we just have continued to hurt ourselves and we yeah like a lot of people go oh man how did you do that when you do it it's like maybe like 20 minutes of Sometimes there's like weeks of pain. Yeah. But usually it's about you see your body heals within like half an hour to half a day. Huh. And then it's nah, and they're like, nah, Man, nah. you are so crazy. Now nah, nah. sometimes you go into the hospital for a routine checkup. A little routine. We're just gonna we're just gonna put a little camera up your bum and see what's going on. Check the prostate. What did they find? Well, I don't know. You had a I lump never, a couple of weeks ago. They never... No. Oh, uh, yeah. A my pop. chest is still there. No, I, I thought it was in your balls. I you were saying. Yeah, no, I've got, got, you can feel it. I've got one on my left nut. I saw in your story. A new lump here. Hold on. Can I see it? Ooh. Whoa, that's a that's good one. That's not meant to be there. Anyway. The do- Should we do- have a Siggy? <laughs> 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 but yeah, I went into the doctor's once, right, for a routine checkup. And uh, yeah, they, they said... it. It's lung just, cancer you just got to go under uh twilight and twilight uh twilight. f-e-r-d yeah yeah how much do you weigh we'll give you this much and gas, gas yeah and the next thing i woke up the first thing i said when i woke up from the from the anesthetics uh i was like 
did you fucking leave tools in here? It turned out they'd done a full operation up inside my bowel. Yeah. Why? From there? No, not from here. Oh. From my asshole. I was Why? Like, oh, okay. So they put knives up your asshole and cut shit out and dragged it, it out. Felt like that. Yeah. So I was, why? But, well, I went in there. Because, what was in you? No, no, hemorrhoid. no, no. The old hemorrhoids, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, it was I what was relate. out of me. Oh. Yeah, and I could get back in. Yeah, and I said, look, I, I've I've dealt with this for a long time, but this one's a special. A special case. I can't. I can't even try to butt plug. So it like a prolapsed on. asshole. It, it was bad. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Oh, oh. So what would pain. happen if you sh- if you shut? Would your ass be out like a sleeve? That no, was already out. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, in a in a roundabout way. It was just. Was that that hurt? It sounds painful. <laughs> so so fucking. I've only ever had one thing that was more painful. But but yeah. Anyway, went into so they could work out what's going on. And I didn't book any time off work or anything. And they put me under, fucking out I go. And then I woke up and I was just torn to shreds, sore as fuck. Took ages to heal. And it turns out they went in there with things called burning lances, mm-hmm. ba- bandings, all sorts of shit. And I what? even Snapchatted when when the nurse gave me the like anima at the start. And I was like, ha this is going to be a fun day. And then I woke up. I just uh, came. I was so, so bad. Yeah. Oh, stop. <laughs> It was so fun. Stop. Yeah. But the so only. Yeah. And it all worked out like you're, you're going to leave. It was just. A bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was just super painful. The just only. Some lumps on the bum. The only thing that was more painful was that fucking uh, cyst I had on my tailbone. Oh. Mm. Mm. Why did so you do that? On the inside or the outside? So it starts from the inside. It's called a pilonidal abscess. Oh, starts yeah. from the end of the tailbone. I was going to call my daughter that. <laughs> and it fishes its way out. Pushes its way through your flesh. Anyway, it was it was that painful. I had to walk around on my hands and knees. Oh, yeah. so, so they cut it out and then do they give it to you? Yeah, I ate it like I yeah. barbecued it like the it's placenta. Like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. it's a, it's good. And, it's a um, gobsopper. It's definitely good. Tailbone flavored. Bad flu for a couple of weeks. Yeah, but, okay. but uh, yeah, I, I was walking I when that. I knew I was fucked. Was when I walked out the back on my hands and hands and uh, knees. feet. No, hands and feet. I had to keep my legs straight. Because I couldn't like a cat. You, uh, yeah. So you couldn't like stand up. And I went out and I, and I because I had to piss right. And I was like, how am I gonna I can't stand up straight. I can't straighten my spine. So I just I just stood there on my hands and feet and just pissed on myself. And I was like, Well, here we are, Brad. Oh dude, I'm, I'm I was there years ago. <laughs> it's only up from here. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you have cysts on your tailbone, Michael. Maybe that's why you piss. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll definitely I'll go get that. Look into out. it. Yeah. Just look into it. I'll do some research. Yeah. So there's um, fun facts about Madman Brad. Ten minutes of health with Madman Brad. So, wait, wait. <laughs> so everyone out there, be careful. Watch your watch your health because you don't want to have cysts on your tailbone. Good. And, and make sure you always just be healthy. You've and got one ever tired. And uh, have I got have any advice to avoid any of that? No. Nah. Just, nah, just be No, wait, the you. doctor, literally, doctor said, luck of the draw, mate. Just luck of the oh, draw. Oh, really? So yeah. was it from smoke? And they said, and we can from... operate on it, but it'll probably come back. Oh, wow. So, go, fuck so you're the cyst cunt in the group, and that's when you king hit well, the let's, doctor. Well, let's focus on the hemorrhoids. Okay. Cyst sounds so yeah. uh, pussy. Yeah. yeah, okay. Excuse me. Yeah, let's keep going with the questions. Fuck. Brag your most memorable moment and where I can listen to the podcast. This is from Lil Chump. Lil Chump. Lil Chump with two Ps. Our most memorable moment would have to be um, when... Uh, oh, fish, oh, I don't even know. when. Um, I reckon like Stewie, finding Stewie was pretty fucking Yeah, brutal. Yeah, when we found a raped man. I remember that the most vividly. And you can see this podcast on... Episode Spotify, first Marty and Michael episode. Fully Actual, or on Season YouTube, one. Marty and Michael Fully Actual, or on. Um, I'll never forget. <laughs> like it was, it was fucked up. Oh, it shit. was blood running down his legs. He didn't want us to call the cops or ambulance. We had to convince him. That really we found happened. eventually the evidence to put the dude away. Uh, the, there was semen on shorts found at the It was like a year crimes. long thing yeah. And we were and the best Eight like, years we, were, yeah. we put someone who raped a man away And I like For all the dumb shit I've done It's like That It's just fixed Lovely it. Wow Yeah That's pretty memorable to me I've had some good moments in my time 
Were they drug fueled? No, 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 no. Some actual good moments from that. What's your from best social moment? mania? Uh, Do you probably... have a favorite? You have a daughter and a son. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. have a favorite? Uh, he does. My daughter's my girl. Yeah. Okay. But my son is a little tank. Yeah. But one of the probably the most recent there. Uh, see, we helped the farmers during the drought when it was really kicking off. That was awesome. Uh, we've done a lot of help for hope homeless helpers thing. But the last one I've done for Hummingbird House, which is a children's hospice rock, like uh, the only children's hospice in Australia, which hospice... What is a hospice? So a hospice is... Half a hospital. No, nah, hospice is end of life care. Oh. Yeah. Dude. So people who yeah. know they're going to die go there. Yeah, no, for children, yeah. Oh, so, oh my God. Yeah, so that I didn't was, know they existed. I who the fuck would want to work there? Yeah, that, yeah, that's called little Hummingbird kids. House. Yeah, little kids just... I didn't crazy, know kids oh. die. Yeah, they do. Oh, it's fucking okay. crazy. Well, that changes everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, shit. Getting real for a second. We're not making oh, videos shit. anymore. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah it's time. But what was, it, what was your story about uh, the dude? We with, just found a rape man. That's okay, probably yeah. the most memorable thing for us is that we found and helped a yes. raped man. I just remember my story from that. I woke up once in a new market caravan park bathroom, the the, the shower. <laughs> all been there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and all I had was my undies and the shower was still running. I was laying in the shower. It's still warm. And I woke up. It's great hot water. Yeah. <laughs> it's good hot water. <laughs> and I woke up <clears throat> in there with nothing else bar my undies and the door was locked. And you were Snapchatting the whole time? I, just, I just don't remember from... Well, I started off in Brizzy and that's where I woke up. I had to borrow and shorts. You, wow. I had to borrow shorts off the caravan park owner to jump trains to get home because I had no wallet around. You could have been raped. You well, were raped. Well, he, you were raped. whoever it was, I assume it was a he. How he, old were you when this happened? Uh, 18. So I was, yeah, I was a fresh, right. fresh to drink. Yeah, Definitely you know, I can take it. There's no hospice raped. there. Casey's, no, no, no. Casey's nodding that, yes, he's confirming you were raped. <laughs> Definitely raped. That's yeah. where the hemorrhoids came from. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Friction on the bum, it's not on. That kind of makes Unless sense. Unless you've got enough lube, and if it's not lube, it, then yeah, that's hemorrhoids. Wow. All right, next question. Questions. Well, yeah. <laughs> we just fixed a lot of world problems then. Did they All right, question? what question would you like to ask us, Brad? And then Ooh. we will ask you a question okay. that we would like to ask you, Brad. Okay, right. How long after you started getting, uh, after your following started growing, did you start to think and realize that this might be a, a career option at, at what stage four years before we started even making money <laughs> dude in high school in year 10 when i met marty we'd go to the uni after school every day buy a 600 mil coca-cola and michael would and snort it yeah i would a whole bottle and then we'd just talk about how eventually one day we will be famous yeah and yeah. then like so from year 10 so, which was and then it took from year 10 how long have you known each other since uh, half our lives ago when we're what 30 now so oh, when we we're, were 15 so when we were 15 we knew and then it took till we were 23 to start having cracks at it and then about two years ago it happened and now here we are pissing in bottles on a podcast in front of a fucking professional green screen Matt yeah. works at fucking wholesome Woo! Yeah, yeah. Matt Great works producer. at fucking wholesome you Great know what producer. I mean Great it's crazy. Producer. All right. Now let, let me throw one back at you, mate. Okay. What do you think? I think. <laughs> Give me something there, hey? I think. Who are... What are you? Do you know what I mean? Like, what is well, it? Do you want me to if you had it? to commit to a religion, what religion would you commit to and What's why? What's your favorite color? I'd, what kind of car do you drive? Yeah. I think that... Life is expendable. Be careful. Cherish every day. I like purple, but yellow more. Even though it's a feminine color, I, it'd be Buddhism because I believe it's it's um non -violent. reincarnation. Mm, oh yeah, well is that what no, they it's, think? Buddhism. Huh? Is that what they? Think? Yeah, yeah. Reincarnation. Fat. I fully believe. B Buddha's no, fat. Buddha's fat. Yeah, but he just ate a bit too much. He's a big fat. Well, we're we're thirty now. Metabolism's Metabolism slowing gone. down. Yeah, Fuck. that's spot on. That's what I want to know. Thank so you. Fat. Fuck that. Might have been. I, like I get asked a lot of questions. And how fat I am. Oh, Wait, dude. Check this. Look at this. Ready? Ever yeah, I've got go. little creases. Oh, look at that. I don't want yeah, to. It's, not, it's just. It's more like amplified. What's it? 
There's is like that, three tits. I can crease my tit into three now. And then it's, it folds there. It just becomes cellulite, even though I'm not 60. The last time and I yeah. seen that, I had to pay heaps for, to see that. Live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buddhism. Mm. What the fuck? Anyway. We're all happy here. We are. Everything's great. All right, let's pray call Brad's mom. We're Woo! gonna pretend that he's been involved in a road rage acts incident, and yeah. that I'm a policeman calling her. So, uh, so what we're gonna do is start uh, off like you instigated it, put your mate in hospital so he's a vegetable in a coma. This is his call from lockup. This is his one call. I'm put he's decided to uh, call. So will Marty start as the officer? I'll start as the officer. I'll start yeah. as, as the that, officer yeah. as the Fortitude Valley uh, police oh, station. Oh, no, you can't use my phone, obviously. Yeah. Right, right. Um, and then we will, um, yeah, like I will put you on okay. after I, I yeah, yeah. explain what has happened. God, th- th- I hope this works. Is there anyone else that we can call with the same joke and s- say to them, oh, look, his parents aren't answering? And that you're... you're Who would be your next... Try George. Right, right. but... George is clever, right? He's been my best mate for a long time. Groff. Hello. Hey, George, mate. It's, it's just uh, Constable Ben Anderson here from uh, the Fortitude Valley Police Station. I was just wondering if you had a few minutes uh, to talk. Uh, I've just got Brad Ward here in lockup. We've tried yeah. we've tried calling uh, his parents, but none of them yeah. are uh, responding. So we were just wondering if... Uh, He's he's using his call basically, and and he's asked to to talk to you. So is is yeah. it is it alright if I I legally I have to give you the the information that uh, you know the circumstances that have led him to lock up. So basically, there was yeah. a uh, road rage incident in Brisbane, and yeah, um, yeah so so there there was a a violent outburst, and um, He's physically injured someone, and so now he's in lockup, and he's asked us to call you for his uh, call. So at the moment, yep. he's he's in lockup, and he'll be in lockup for the next forty eight hours unless someone can um, uh, pay his bail, which is uh, twelve thousand dollars at the moment. But um, yeah, I, I I just have to call and let you know the circumstances, and and I'll put him on the phone now if that's okay. Yeah, okay. No worries, mate. Well, here he is. Is, Mum? Hey, mate, how you going? Ah, oh, they could. Fuck. What are you doing? Ah, oh, I fucked up, man. What'd you do? Ah, uh, they fucking uh, pulled up at lights and a bloke fucking uh, carried on. But I fucking, I towed this cunt bad. I, he hit his head, hit his head on the fucking edge of the gutter and he's fucking cactus, eh? Hey? Oh, really? Bad. Um, yeah. I can't. Uh, hey, I, uh, I'm fucking. I'm stuck here, eh? Yeah. Well, you were just saying stuck here for forty-eight hours. Yeah. Um. What do you want me to do? You want me to call? Um. Call. Who do you call? Is Crystal on every? Well, well obviously this is one phone call. That's, yeah. Right? That's all I got. <clears throat> I asked them to. I gave them four numbers. You, mum. Dad and yep. Crystal, but he said he couldn't get on to your parents, and then he said, "Oh, is that what he said?" Or something. He said I couldn't get on to Brad's parents, but you were the numbers, so he's trying me out. Like, right. So, um, fucking, oi! When this can fucking hit the deck, George. Hey. When, oi! When this can hit the deck, he was fucked, eh? Like, when, yeah. When old mate hit the deck, he was fucking yeah. cactus, eh? Like, yeah, just waste your bad knockout, mate, eh? Nah, nah, he was, he was fucking squirting blood. It was bad. Oh, fuck. What? Yeah, nah, I don't know. I don't think the worst. Don't jump to conclusions. Oh, I think he's fucking... The cunt wasn't even fucking moving, eh? I was trying to fucking pick him. I was... Hey? I was trying to pick him back up. I was trying to pick him back up and he wasn't fucking moving. Fuck, right. Yeah. How, how long was he out for? 
was ditched with him as heck of a get there. Yeah. Yeah, I got held down by people in traffic because I was fucking the aggressor. Yeah. And, um, like, fucking 15 minutes, probably, and he yeah. was fucking... He was fucked. He was, he'd done, like, a little shake. He'd done a couple of shakes. Yeah. 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 But what's your, um, there's yeah. the, the bloke um, that arrested me, he's been coming in a bit. Yeah. And uh, I reckon when he, when he comes in, <clears throat> when he comes in next, they'll put me back in the, in this fucking, uh, oh, fucking uh, fiberglass cell there. I think when he comes in next, I'm just going to fucking try and push past him and get the fuck out, man, because this isn't good, eh? It's, you can't get out of there, mate. Don't be silly. Well, it's just from the end, like it's just out of the entrance. Like what it's are you talking about? Just inside the entrance, you go left, and that's where I am. I reckon, I reckon I can get past. What do you want to get out for? Well, what the fuck am I going to do in here? Just relax, mate. You, 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 you they got you in there. Just hold it. Forty eight hours. You just got to sit in there and chill, mate. Hey. Eh? Mm. Um. I'll, I'll call you. You can't get out. You can't escape, mate. You know that. Don't mm. be silly. Mm. Just relax. I know you're gonna. It's, uh, it's a tough one. Um, but don't think the worst. Just fucking. Um, fuck, can't. I've, I've had about fucking eight beers too before it. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, and then driving. Mm. Yeah. Um. He was. Yeah, he was gosh. a fucking cock. I just hope there's CCTV on the intersection so you can see how much of a cockhead the cunt was. I did, fu- did you get out of the car and carry on? Yeah, so we out? got out at the same time. We met in the middle, and but I fucking I fucked him up. I I even kicked the cunt right in the fucking nuts, and then uppercutted him. That was the clean up one. It was bad, eh? Yeah, bro. Mm. If he dies, he'll be charged with me. Yeah, they're just trying to think the worst things. Um, but these things can look pretty bad sometimes, but. You know what? I think it was because you'll just get down and you in there, mate. Eh? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Oh, the cops coming back. Fuck this, man. I'm get. I'm gonna go. I'm getting out of here. Eh? Hold on. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mate, that's your time there, mate. Calm down. Right. Mate, calm down. Hey, calm down, fuck mate. Hey, fuck fuck it. Take your hand. Fuck it. 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 Sounds like gunshots. Oh, that was me being. Oh, uh, George. Oi, George. I'm sorry, cunt. Oi, call him back because he's going to be calling everyone. No, 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 no. Oh, Leave it. Leave it until the podcast's over. Oh, <laughs> we got to tell him. We got to tell him. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Oi, he's going to bash me. He's. <laughs> Is he a strong man? Hey, mate, it's just like. Con- con- Constable fighter. Ben uh, Anderson times. here. Um, we've just got. Uh, Brad. Just let me fucking go. Mate, calm down. We've just got him in restraints and um, yep. we've broken both of his fucking legs. You didn't have to fucking tase me. And look, I've really cracked one of his I ribs fucking up. shit myself. You fucking little dog. I'll fucking put you <laughs> out. I'll fucking finish you. Hey, George, um, it's just a prank call, mate. We're just fucking with you. Where it is he's ha- at the P- Marty and Michael podcast and um, he's fine. Everything's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. A, he's gonna bash you. Yeah. You predicted it. Even Casey, he knows. He knows Casey's, that's bad. Hey, Casey's gonna bash you with him. Casey's gonna help him bash you. Oh, is that a pride thing through fighters? You don't no, no, me no, mentally no, or no, physically. So, so, so oh my god, oh, wait. No. So George has fought. George has fought professionally for so long. He's got Australian intercontinental titles in Thai, but he's such a... Oh, he's a good... He's like he's Buddha, a, but violent. He's Buddha, yeah, but violent. Yeah, yeah. And we just went and fucked Why with Buddha. Why did I suggest George? Oh, Brad, you Is he going to be okay? No, 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 Let me tell, call him. No, no, tell we'll, George, I'll oh, fuck. He can come George. over mine. I'll sort him out. Yeah, you want to fuck get George? I'll oh, sort George. George, no, we George. love you. We're sorry, George. No, yeah. not George. Yeah, I got George. Him. I got Is him. his name George? He's not going to answer. He's going to be so pissed off. Oh, fuck. shit. I'm worried for Casey's safety. Oh, no. He's not going to answer. There's no way he's going to Oh, 
This is ep- episode one of when prank calls go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> He's on his way here to kill everyone. Yeah, George, just uh, leave your name. Oh. 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 Friendship ended And that's what we do on our episodes of season two And that's what we do two. on this podcast We split friendships apart for the entertainment of yourself So make sure you tell your uncles about this And goodbye <laughs> And we're getting That's a bit more best Well it's getting up there We're getting back to the best we're getting Towards the good. best well, we're, getting, right. we're getting pretty good We're, we're getting, getting pretty good We're if, getting pretty good We're getting pretty good We're getting pretty good if I get a video of George fucking me up, that'll be all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, we'll put that we'll on the end. Leave that we'll add it on to the, the end corner. of the podcast, yeah. Always. Fuck, I feel bad yeah, now. Yeah, sorry about that one, eh?